or be caught to the depths of the universe. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Ratchling Clank Future Tools of Destruction Let's Play on the PlayStation 3. This is part 5. So I know most of you are probably surprised that I'm actually doing commentary now because the previous parts of this Let's Play did not have any commentary from me. So um, and many of you guys did actually ask me in the comments in those videos why I wasn't doing commentary and if I could bring the commentary back and um, so I'm just going to bring the commentary back now because all of you commented that you wanted me to commentate so I guess you just miss hearing my voice is that it? <laughs> I hope so so uh, the reason why I did not do any commentary was uh, because I had um, this entire let's play has been like recorded for like a year or something and I just found it on my computer and then I just thought well I could just upload that like for fun just to upload some videos and then I thought that I would like to try doing some let's plays without having any commentary just to see the feedback because I know many people on YouTube do Let's play and walkthroughs without doing commentaries, even though I usually always do commentary. So I just thought I would try uh, doing it without commentary, just to um, just to just to try, just to try that too, because I've always like kind of done commentary, except for like the first kind of let's plays that I ever did on my channel, but that was like in. 2009, 2010, and 11, and stuff like that. And I think I started with commentary in like 2011, 2012, and then I've just continued. Yeah, I've been on YouTube making Let's Plays for many years now. And obviously, because of my <laughs> subscriber count, I don't do this for money or whatever. I do this because I think it's fun. And why not? Because I do think it's fun and just uh, something to do when you have uh, the time and I don't really have a lot of time but why not do it sometimes you know so I do like to make some less space like sometimes because it's kind of part of my childhood and it's fun and yeah and all of that what, I'm, what I said so I'm bringing the commentary back now for this less space since everyone wanted me to bring it back so um there we go, you got your wish, and um, this uh, just proves that if you do want something, and if you do want something to change in my videos, just write it in the comments, because I read every single comment that you guys write, even though I might not answer everything, I do read everything. I. I answer if it's something that I think should be answered and stuff like that, so yeah, you got your wish. So anyways, back to the game. Uh, we're now doing the first, um, like, um, what should I call it, like ship battle thing in the game. So we're kind of at the end of the ship battles now, th this ship battle, and now we're doing like a boss battle. This is against, well, Captain Slag is inside. You can kind of see him in the eye of the ship you, on the right. You can see like a little figure. That's Captain Slag. So we'll be seeing him a lot more in the game. He's actually one of my favorite characters from Ratchet and Clank, actually. I just think it's fun. And especially in Ratchet and Clank Future, he's one of my favorite characters from Ratchet and Clank Future. So we'll be seeing a lot more of him in this game so yeah what you do with this boss battle you just just keep moving around and around I just go around and around and just keep shooting like all the time just hold in the button and keep going around and around in circles and then after some time of course you will have defeated him and that will kind of be the end of that so I don't really enjoy the ship battles uh, if you watched my older Ratchet and Clank plays walkthroughs, 100% walkthroughs, because I did 100% walkthroughs of it back then, uh, I 
did not like the ship battles there either, and I don't really enjoy them here either. It's cool to like look at the planets and stuff like that, but I don't really enjoy it, if I'm going to be honest. And we got a skill point, Minesweeper. So now we are actually going to the planet that we were on our way to. And um, yeah, forgive me if I don't remember everything because it's been a long time. We're going to the Imperial Fight Festival on planet Nuko. And uh, as you can see, it's raining and um, it's kind of a lot of yellow buildings, architectures. And it's kind of a planet with mountains and water. So this is one of my favorite planets from um, this game. And it kind of reminds me of planet Battalia from the first Russian Bank game. I don't know why that is. It's probably just the rain and um, the yellow. Because if I remember correctly there was a lot of yellow buildings and architectures on that planet too. So it kind of reminds me of that. So to open like the door that we're supposed to go through, I don't think I go... I go through, like, there's two routes. Um, one is for the fight festival and the other one is to get an object. And um, the route to get an object you have to open like a laser door and to do that you have to collect all six of those small trophy looking things around the area. Kind of around the... Um, I call this kind of the main square because it kind of looks like the main square type of thing. So you just have to find those objects, the trophy looking things, and um, that laser thing will open. And again, I feel like I say this in like every single video, but excuse me if I sound a little like hoarse in my throat because um, I've kind of. Uh, I, I am kind of a little hoarse in my throat, like, I've spoken a lot, and, um, yeah, I've just spoken a lot recently, <laughs> and I can feel it in my throat, so I sound like a crow, <laughs> as I feel like I say in every single video. So there's, like, the laser door thing that we're supposed to open, but I go there after we've done the fight festival. So I believe the last one is on top of this fountain. There we go. And that's all of them. I don't think I go there now. Oh no, it doesn't open that. What does it open? Oh, I can't really remember now. So you can get armor here if you want to. I'm going to buy it because it's only 30,000 bolts and we can... Uh, we do have enough bolts for that, so I'm just going to buy that. There we go. And now we can uh, get our ammo. And then we're going to go through here, and which is the first route to the fight festival. There's a lot of enemies here, and if I remember correctly, I actually die like one time when I was recording this, if I remember correctly. And the thing about the future games, like, I remember, like, almost every single, like, the name of every single weapon in the, in the three, the three first ones, the, the trilogy of Rushing Frank. Like, I remember, like, almost everything from that, like, every single weapon and stuff. But from the future games, I don't really remember, like, the names of the weapons and all of that. I just saw the combustor and... I remember that one, but there is many that I don't really remember. So you'll have to excuse me if like, I forget like some information throughout the play and stuff like that. Because I don't really remember everything and as I said, I recorded this entire last play like, like a year ago or something like that. So. I don't know if it was a year ago, but it's it's definitely a few months ago. Like, oh, there I died. Yeah, so I told you I would die. So, yeah, it's definitely a few months ago at least. So, so it's like, 
It's not like I recorded this just now. It's been a while. So I really want to upgrade the plasma bees, and they're kind of good against these enemies that kind of looks like they kind of look like pigs, you know, like um, bulls. Yeah, bulls. And I do actually really like the plasma bees, like in general. I use it like throughout the whole game. I actually use it like all the way to the end of the game. I just think it's a good weapon. It's like one of those weapons you can, you can like throw many out of at the same time. Kind of. So um, I do like to use that. So continue on. Make sure you look around, like because there's a lot of things you can miss. Like. Uh, there can be retaining boxes and everything around the area. Just make sure you have a look around to see if you actually find some. Oh, talking about retaining, here are a few retaining boxes, so we'll get them. And as you probably have noticed already, but retaining in this game is used to upgrade your weapons because you can. Of course you upgrade the weapons when you use them, but you can also get like um, some extra upgrades for it in the vendor, like small skills for the weapons. Like you can get Veritanium when you kill an enemy, or you can, um, as I'm doing now, I'm upgrading the weapon. I'm using the Veritanium, because I have quite a lot of Veritanium now actually. What I like to do when I upgrade the weapons is that I like to focus on one weapon at one time, so I like upgrade a weapon like entirely before I move on to the next one. Because I just I want to upgrade every single weapon, not just the ones that I use. And one thing that's also great about the game is that you get full health when you go to the vendor and that really helps sometimes. Because some of the enemies in this game are actually quite uh, difficult. So it always helps when you get full health from the vendor. It's always great when you see a vendor. So I really hope... Uh, ...that you guys will watch this test by now. Um, now that I'm doing commentary. Because I kind of got the feeling that you guys weren't liking this last play since I was not doing commentary or whatever. So, um, and I completely understand that, like, I wouldn't watch this play either if I uh, preferred commentary, but it wasn't commentary. Like, I watch some last plays too. Um, and sometimes, like, a let's play without commentary, and sometimes. I want to have some commentary too, so I can hear uh, the person that makes the videos. Like, I want to hear their experience about the game, or their opinions, or um, their thoughts, or whatever. So, I completely understand that, but I hope now that most of you will like this last game. Now that I have uh, commentary going on. So, yeah, I hope you guys will like it now. So we're getting really close to the fight festival now. So that's great. Just have to pick up the rest of the ammo and um, the health. The crates always remember to get the bolts. The bolts really help. There's actually a skill point you can get here if you get through uh, these fiery things using your charge boots without getting hit. I'm not going to do that because this is just a last play. I'm not doing this 100% like I did with the Rushing Clank and Rushing Clank 2. Rushing Clank 3 was also just a last play on my channel. But Rushing Clank 1 and Rushing Clank 2, if you want to see how you do those games 100%, I have those on my channel that you can watch. And I really enjoyed making those walkthroughs too, so watch them if you want to. So you should be safe. 
So now, just going to stock up on our ammo and head inside the Imperial Night Festival. So the thing about the fight festival is it really reminds you of um, um, the... Um, what are they called again? Uh, the battles that we had in Ratanuk 2 and 3 when we went to um, like the Megacorp um, battles, you know, in Ratanuk 2 and also Ratanuk 3. It's kind of the same thing. You have the rounds, it's actually the same type of arena, the arena battles. So it's the exact same thing, uh, which is fun, you can make bolts of this, doing the arena battles and all of that, so it's great, there's nothing wrong about them. I think it's fun sometimes, it's not like my favorite type of thing, but it's okay, it's good that you make some bolts from the challenges in um, the arena battles, that's always great. And now this battle is actually soon finished, is it? We're in round three. It's I kind of feel like the small enemies are like the most annoying ones because they can escape and go everywhere and just you know what I mean, they can just fly everywhere and they're kind of hard to get to and uh, destroy. That's what I feel at least. And kind of the bigger enemies, you can see them, you can get to them, and you can just stand like at a distant distance and take them out. And that's challenge complete. And now we're going to fight against this boss. And he looks really pretty. <laughs> really pretty. So um, most of the bosses are just kind of empty all of my ammo, ammo on them. Just use every single thing kind of. Of course, as I said, I want to upgrade the plasma bees. But now the combustor is now version 4? I thought I was going to go to version 5. Okay, so we only have to upgrade the combustor one more time because before it's version 5. So that will be great. That we will finally get to that. And the boss is actually soon dead. Surprisingly enough, I thought it was going to stay longer. But I guess not. And there we go. And uh, we won the helipods for that, which I will show you soon. Congratulations! You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. Belly shorter and less strapping. Quark, do you mind telling us what you're doing working for Tachyon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes, and dispatching my crouching kitten style with lethal precision. But alas, these rock-hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold out for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot rendered me unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kurwan, I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became his confidant. Which means you used your powers as a world-class suck-up to save your own hide. Oh, little column A, little column B. 
Here, take this. It'll explain everything. Well, the optical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play it on. Great! Quit messing around and get over here! I have boils that require lancing. <laughs> Coming, Your Excellence! Pray for me. Wow, Captain Quark has really gotten into some trouble now. So you can do more challenges at the arena battles if you want to, to make some extra bolts, but I'm not going to do that. So the helipods that we just won, they are actually really useful. Um, well, that's the swing shot. Use the helipods. Why can't I equip them? <laughs> equip the helipod. What the hell? Like, there we go. They can open up doors. And they can, like, do everything. Kind of everything. So they're really helpful. We will use the helipods, like, a lot during the game. So that will be great. And now we are going to go through this door that we didn't do before. And wow, this looks really dangerous. Make sure to not get hit too many times and die. Like I almost am. So, this route is just for getting like an object at the end, like a gadget, which we'll see later. But we will we'll actually interact with that Ferris wheel that you saw when we entered the planet. Because the Ferris wheel is right over here. Which I think is really fun. Ferris wheel... The Ferris wheel looks really great, and um, yeah. I don't really like Ferris wheels and stuff like that, like amusement parks and like scary rides and stuff like that. Like in real life, I'm really terrified of stuff like that because I'm really afraid of heights. So it's not my thing. But this is just a game, so. No reason to be afraid. And we just got a piece of the Gadgetron Holoplan. So if I remember correctly, if you put together all the pieces of the Holoplan, you will get the new Rhino weapon. And of course there is a Rhino weapon in every Rising Man game, like almost every single one at least. In the main ones there are. So the Ferris wheel is actually kind of interesting. I don't think many people will ride this Ferris wheel. Uh, definitely not kids since it's really dangerous and it will kill you as you can see. So you kind of have to switch platforms not to so you don't get hit and die and stuff like that. So be careful when you're doing this, but it's not really that difficult. You can kind of see where you're supposed to go. And then at the end, right here, you can jump off. And that's it, kind of. Pick up the titanium because I need that so I can upgrade my weapon so that we can have stronger weapons. Because that is needed in the game. This game especially. Oh, and here is a bolt um, multiplier so that we can get... All the bolts that we collect will be multiplied, but all of you guys know that already. Now let's use our combustor. I need to get some experience for it so we can try to upgrade it soon because I'm actually kind of tired of using it. I want to use some other weapons, buy some new ones, upgrade weapons, and move on to some other ones. That's what I want to do. Now let's get up here because there is enemies, so of course that's the correct way to go. And we need to work on this bomb as well. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the bomb weapon. So there's the same type of thing from the start of the route. Be careful. This really scares me actually. It looks horrible. And um, oh my god, I'm stuck. Here we go. And 
I believe we got the Magna Boots. No, we got the Charge Boots. Which we can use on that skill point that I told you guys about before the Imperial Fight Festival. So that's pretty much it on um, this planet. Come back for the next part, part 6, and we will move on to the next planet. Which we will see what planet that is when we get into our ship. See you then guys. Bye bye. Let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Greetings, inferior beings of Polaris. Does your life lack a sense of purpose? Do you constantly worry about finding steady income? Do you like killing stuff? Then join the Imperial Army and aid me in my humble quest for galactic domination. Here you'll travel to new places, meet interesting people, and execute them in the name of me. Hold the phone! Did you just say I could meet interesting people? Why, yes, I did, celebrity hero Captain Quark. That sounds terrific! Tell me more! It's simple. Somewhere in this galaxy is the filthy Lombax secret responsible for the Kragmite defeat. As an official Tachyon Trooper, your job will be to ravage every planet until it is found! Leave no stone unturned! No rebel spared! Exterminate anyone who stands in your way! All for a tidy salary and competitive benefits package. Wow! All that and travel too? Indeed! Take the Nundak Asteroid Ring, for example. Our spies have learned that the secret may be hidden here on this remote moon base. If you sign up by tonight, you can join in on the raid. Emperor Tachyon is an equal opportunity oppressor. Hmm. Do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon used to vaporize the Kragmites. Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. <laughs>